Turning pain into purpose, the family of a Bronx honor student killed in the crossfire of rival gams, gangs while walking home from school starts a foundation to combat gun violence. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer says it was the family's way to celebrate her birthday. A year ago, Manuel Jambo shared a tender dance with his daughter in her flowing pink dress. It was her sweet 16. Today, her 17th birthday, the only pink was in the balloons at her grave. Three months after her sweet 16, Angelie Jambo was killed by an unregistered ghost gun bought on the internet as she walked home from school. She was caught in the crossfire of rival gangs. Manuel Jambo hates going to the cemetery. I don't want to go there. I don't like going there. I, I still go all the time, but... But, um... I'm still going to celebrate her birthday. Angelie's dad and her mom, Janelle Enriquez, went to Woodlawn Cemetery with a purpose to announce the establishment of a foundation in her name to fight gun violence. It will fund after school programs, assist victims of gun violence through awareness, education, and prevention strategies. We are trying to kind of save lives. How many kids have to die for people to do something? But for both parents, it's also about preventing other parents from sharing their heartbreak. I have this knot and this feeling that I just want to explode because I miss her so much. You think things will come easy at times to go by? They don't. It's actually harder for me. I've been stripped from my daughter, my best friend, my partner, my shopping partner, and I'm left empty, broken, missing the most valuable, precious gift I ever had in life. Although the goal of the foundation is to keep these streets safe, it's also to keep Angelie's memory alive. In the Kingsbridge section of the Bronx, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And Mary Hernandez, the CEO of the foundation, says, quote, every child is Angelia.